So here's my first stroke. It's going to be a big, big tree here. Hopefully I have a big enough brush, which I probably don't, but it's okay. And it's going to be this big tree here. One, two, three. Uh, just counting that I'm not lifting. I'm still making this tree. And does it have a little bit of a dark here? So I'm, I'm going to carry this dark. It's a good dark, so I'm going to carry it. And this could be one stroke because I haven't lifted it. And there I go. It's almost out of paint. One. Then let's get some other colors in here. And we'll start from this side. And you can use the whole area of the brush. Turn it all sorts of different ways. And enjoy. Lift light. Come across something and push hard to get the paint down. And it's running out of paint already. But that's okay. I like this green. It's a natural green mixed from uh, bright green and cobalt blue and yellow. And there we go. Okay, so I've loaded my brush with a brighter green now to carry over some of these highlights here. And I'm going to still continue painting over top of some of my previous paint. And I am going to keep going with this color as far as I can till the brush becomes a dry brush here. And I like how oils can pick up the other color and now have this darker just by picking some of this dark here up on the brush. And there's my third stroke. So now I, with the 37 stroke you can breathe and take your time and it can become a little bit of a meditation in itself. Uh, even mixing the color can be quite an enjoyable process. You can take quite a bit of time to see which color might be suitable and that does match the little highlights in this bush here. So whether I want to put that in. And that's a smaller stroke. I've already lifted so there's a stroke there. I might have to sacrifice a number of strokes for these little brighter areas. So here I'm uh, dropping a stone with each stroke. And that way I'm able to count the limited strokes that I've decided on. 37 is a nice number. You know, seven, the symbolic number of eternity or forgiveness and all this stuff. We have to forgive ourselves a lot out here because there was another stroke there. I lift it up because we, we can muck up and make a disaster. But we have to be easy on ourselves as well in anything that we're trying to work on. We're going to win some and lose some. So I'm not sure how this will progress, but uh, I'm enjoying the, the rocks in my hand and being part of this lovely location, listening to the birds. It can be tiring though too, because I'm concentrating on not only the warm and cools that I'd like to start to play on. I'm thinking about the dark of it. Whether I portray it here is, a, is another matter, but it's all being internalized and I'm trying to organize it on this space. So here another deliberate brush stroke. I'm going to try to nail that one tree. It's a thin one and a little darker, maybe a little purple in it. Let's try that. Okay, here we go. I don't even know what colors are on here except mixture. So push down and follow the line of the tree. Release it. Do this little bit of branch. And I didn't lift there, just that it's dry brush against this panel, which is a nice uh, cotton linen panel. And lift light, push down, there. Okay, so let's get a grey tree in there. And that's another deliberate one here. I'm going to have to go around this sort of. That's okay. Come right up there. And 
maybe that's it. So there's 10 right there. I'm going to now take some time and be able to stand back from the piece and look at what's happening and pick up my stones. And once again, I'm in a little bit of a breather from the painting. This will have to fill out this whole area here. I'm going to leave that because I like that stroke. I'm going to move this in. Stone there. I'm going to get more blue coming in here. Okay. Now that's that's a nice blue. I'm going to I'm going to push this yellow with this blue. I just realized I'm going to stop again. I have stones. I don't have to rush through this. So I'm going to go with that. I correlate these two, so I'm going to have to put some of that color here. There. Okay, let's get really light here. And see if we... Uh, That was a that was a dot. That dot cost me a whole stone there. That's okay. Let me get a paper brush. Let's get some pure color here. This is a nice new brush, so I might as well get some sky that I feel coming through the trees there. And I'll just uh, bring it in. This is called negative painting when I come in and cut around and cover. Ooh, let's, let's make a branch out of that one. It's got an interesting feel, so might as well do that. Good. And uh, let's get the yellow. That's just odorous solvent that I'm cleaning my brush with. I have a little bit of a medium here. With, um, oh, that's a stroke. Forgot I didn't do my 37. Okay, so there's 10. I'm going to pick up 10 more. Maybe I needed a break, so that's how that happens. Two, four, six. Ten. Okay, I'd like to get a nice little highlight of yellow in here, a yellow green. So that's going to have to be pure. Or I could push it. I could push the green by adding its complement, which would be a pink. So how daring do I go here? Do I take up uh, quinacridone magenta, my primary red, and mix it up? Or do I use this lovely pink? Ah, let's play with that. That could be fun. So I'm going to sacrifice three stones for this. One. Oh, that went quite far, so that's good. Three. I'm going to blend it up. With light. This is a smaller brush, so it's going to give some interesting little patterns instead of a big swoop with the larger brush. I'm going to see what kind of rhythm I can get uh, playing out, and I'm trying to decide where I'd like that. It would be good here, but it's too wet, so it'll just blend. So if I want to see the brush stroke, it'll have to be on a dry surface, and I'm going to just uh, see what happens. Let's go. Okay. 
just relaxing through it. Breathing. Oh, I don't mind that rhythm. There we go. I can get some nice. Okay, I lift it there. I need to fill in this. And it's probably nice to get a lighter color in there. We probably need the same blue again. It can be toned down just a bit. Okay, so let's let's see. I'm gonna have to probably sacrifice something here to keep that strong edge. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna go on the other side. a bit too light but can't tell till you put it down. Uh, so I have seven stones left. Two, and and in a in a way I should actually plan all of those seven and decide what colors and what brush mark I would do. But for the purpose of this exercise I'm going to be intuitive about it. And I'm gonna, I, I feel I'd like to put some of this warmer color up there, I like this pink, so I'm gonna go with that. One, two, three. Oh, that's just still one. Good. So you see how you can push on, on the brush and get the last little bit of paint out from it? And five more. Hmm. Question is, do I use them for little highlights or do I cover areas that aren't working? So back to my grayscale. I mean, this is really bright, but hey, you're allowed to push things. I'm going to sacrifice. I'd like a little bit of texture on this side. So a little dot and something just simple like that brings this tree behind that. It gives it depth. And, oh well, I could finish here. I actually don't mind the way it looks. I, I don't like this little thing, but uh, I like this dripping over here. Let's see, let's get some drips in there then on that side. Let's balance it out with a drip. I wouldn't mind, oh, why don't I put a bit of palette in there, let's see. It's, this is very risky, it ruined the whole painting, so let's do three. One, two, 